Hello, I'm Dr. Shekhar Patel. I'm the neurologist at Apollo Hospital, Navi, Mumbai. And with me is Dr. Ritu Parna Ghosh. She's a neuropsychologist attached to the same institute. So we welcome you for another show through Apollo Hospital. And today we are going to talk about few aspects of epilepsy. This is in preparation to launch our epilepsy clinic, which will be a weekly clinic at the hospital starting uh, this end of this month. Uh, so the first question that people come to us with is what is epilepsy and what do we really know about epilepsy? So whenever you have an abnormal electrical activity in the brain, the discharges which we capture on the EEG indicate that the activity in the brain will slow down, the patient will become still and then you will have the motor activity which we commonly call as a convulsion. So whenever it is uh, unregulated activity, then you actually have repeated such episodes and then we have, yes, now we call you as a case of epilepsy. So when you look at seizures, there are primarily two types of seizures, focal seizures and generalized seizures. So focal indicate that the origin of the electrical activity is from one side or one area of the brain and the spread is then towards the entire brain and generalized which means primarily the origin is throughout the brain at the same time and the clinical presentation is also at the same time generalized body activity. So this is being simple terms what we know about epilepsy but there are a lot of other issues related to epilepsy which would cover the mental aspects of epilepsy, the psychological aspects of epilepsy and we also knew the academic and the educational problems that can be seen in people with epilepsy. So the educational side and the academic difficulties are primarily with children and we actually want to start this clinic to identify all the difficulties and address them in a much more holistic way. So Dr. Ritu Parna will now just brief you about the mental, social as well as the psychological aspects of epilepsy. Hold it quick. Thank you Dr. Shekhar. So, as rightly said, uh, epilepsy, first of all, there are a lot of myths associated with epilepsy. First of all, I would like to say epilepsy is not a mental disorder. There are other myths associated with it, like epilepsy means that every time the person will fall unconscious. There are other myths related to that epilepsy happens with people who have low IQ, there are myths that people cannot work, they cannot get married if they have epilepsy. And if a person in their lifetime has one seizure, that means that person has epilepsy. So there are such myths that uh, are very, very prevalent in our society because of this medical condition. The first thing is that epilepsy, or rather due to epilepsy, certain mental health distress can happen. Predominantly, it is anxiety and depression. Depression happens due to some injury at times in the parts of the brain that controls the mood functions. Anxiety can happen with people suffering from epilepsy because many a times they are uh, feeling uncomfortable and they are afraid of the episodes coming again. So there is always this fear in their mind that leads to a lot of anxiety. Then there is some uh, lifestyle situations that get restricted due to the condition. For example, there can be restrictions with driving. There can be certain, uh, you know, types of structured lifestyle that they have to maintain. Because of all this, people start feeling, patients who have epilepsy, they perceive themselves as losing independence in their life. So a lot of distress, predominantly anxiety and depression can come with epilepsy. Along with this, there are certain cognitive skills that might get affected, wherein at times there can be uh, some sort of deficits in memory functions, predominantly short term memory, because uh, it leads to some sort of uh, impairment in retaining and storage of new information in the brain. So that can lead to some sort of forgetfulness of recent events. Now, there are a lot of psychological interventions that can uh, be given to patients with epilepsy. First of all, psychoeducation is very, very important, wherein they are taught how to deal with the lifestyle modifications to adhere to the proper treatment protocols at the same time to maintain proper diet, 
sleep and also to avoid, to teach them to avoid the triggers that lead to seizures. At the same time, cognitive behavior therapy can be given to such uh, people uh, to help them to deal with distress that comes with anxiety and depression in such patients. Behavioral therapy can help them to learn how to uh, deal with, uh, you know, day to day issues, how to develop or improve their adjustment and coping mechanisms with their immediate environment. And family therapy is also helpful, wherein we teach the family members of the patients to how to deal in uh, with dealing with such patients. So a multidisciplinary approach is what is needed in treatment of epilepsy and psychological interventions can go a long way in helping such patients. Thank you. So what we are actually planning here is, as uh, Dr. Ritoparna has rightly pointed out, it's a multidisciplinary approach. So we will have the clinical approach, we have the investigative approach, and we have the psychological approach. So within the clinical approach, we will actually have an interview with the family, interview with the patient. We'll try and find out what type of seizure, what type of epilepsy does this patient have, what are the difficulties that he faces in day-to-day -day life, and that can be then managed appropriately. From the investigative perspective, we actually look at a detailed MRI of the brain because we want to find out a structural cause for the epilepsy. And we look at the EEG, which is the electroencephalography, uh, test which is carried out as a routine outpatient test. We would know the electrical activity of the brain and based on the information that is collated, we can actually uh, advise appropriate interventions, be it medically or be it surgically, because there is a possible surgical cure for people with epilepsy. So that's why we have this clinic now where we will have the clinical approach, the investigative approach and the psychological approach and uh, guide the patient thoroughly. Thank you. Thank you.